Assalamu alaikum. Uh, tuning in from, inshallah. How are you? How's it going? Assalamu alaikum. How's it going? <laughs> Please let me know where you're tuning in from. Assalamu alaikum. Live stream, inshallah. I think we're going to go live in just a second. There we go. Go live. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Inshallah, you're doing well. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Assalamu alaikum. How's it going? Where are you? Okay, we're gonna go live on Instagram. Inshallah, inshallah. Let's see if we can get some. Hello, hello. Assalamu alaikum. Masrur, how are you? How's it going? Pray from. Yeah. Oh, hello from Bangladesh. Assalamu alaikum. Sufian from Morocco, alhamdulillah. Remind me where you are, uh, Sufian, in Morocco because um, inshallah I'll be going there. I don't know if I'm gonna go there next month or maybe I'm gonna wait because it might be too, too hot. <laughs> I might be there um, in September, inshallah, inshallah. How are you? Sammy, assalamu alaikum, how are you? How's it going, guys? How's it going? Assalamu alaikum, we're doing a, um, a, um, Ramadan Roundup, how are you? Hassan, Malaikum salam, how are you? It's good to see you too, brother. Jazakallah here for being here, guys. I'm so excited. I've missed you guys, how's it going? Salam, Mabina, Malaikum salam, Qureshi. Ooh, that's a beautiful last name. Inshallah, you're doing well. Hello on Instagram, how's it going, how's it going? Nadir, Usman, hello, Amini, MDSA. Welcome, welcome, welcome. MD Arfad. Assalamu alaikum, brother. How are you? How's Bangladesh today, guys? Please, please, please let me know. Arch Phantom, brother. How are you? It's so nice to see you. How are you? Casablanca. Oh, inshallah. I'd love to go to Casablanca. It's like, I have not been to Casablanca before. I've been to Marrakesh and I've been to up north. Um, but I have not been to Casablanca. I would absolutely love to go there. Mohammed Abed, how are you? How are you? Nice to see you. India, we've got India in the house. How's my brother Arch Phantom doing? Nadir, walaikum salam. How are you guys? My Eid was very, very quiet, Mobina. How is yours? How is yours? Please let me know. I, I'm curious how everybody sp spent their, <laughs> their Eid. I didn't really get to talk to you guys um, when I was at Istanbul airport. I mean, I did, but I need to know, how do you guys spend your Eid, inshallah? Emmanuel Wealth, hello again. Assalamu alaikum, how are you today? Yeah, Masrur, after Ramadan, my daily life again, boring. I know, what do you guys think? Because. Are we feeling post Ramadan blues or what? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Um, Alhamdulillah. Tutut, tutut. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Hibu, how are you? Did you eat sheer kurta? What is that, uh, Mobina? Please let me know. Studying. Hameen from Turkey. Oh, hello, hello. Halima, Halima. Salam, alaikum, salam. I'm so happy to hear that, Arch Phantom. How's it going, brother? What's going on? It was 82 degrees there, or here. What's it like there, where you are, brother? I'm so excited to hear from you. Um, I need to, so, Sufyan says I need to visit the Mosque Hassan II in Casablanca. It's famous, yes. I know, I actually have a, um, a friend, I went to yoga school with her, and she's in Casablanca. I have not seen her or heard from her. I guess we're friends on Instagram, but I haven't seen her in many, many years. Uh, Alhamdulillah, she's in Casablanca, so maybe we can catch up, who knows. <clears throat> Hello, Instagram. Hi, Emily, how are you, sister? How's it going, how's it going? Love from Kenya, Emmanuel, I'm sending you love back. Rima, walaikum salam, sister. Are those neon lights? Cool, right? Yeah, that's new. Alhamdulillah, Amal, nice to see you. <clears throat> wow, we've got a few people from Casablanca. Alhamdulillah, amazing. Hibu, how are you? Yoga is haram. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, yeah, interesting, interesting. We've already got some, some uh, <laughs> on, the, on the vertical stream, we've already got some uh, trolls, alhamdulillah. That's wonderful. Um, I wanna shout out our moderator, Arch Phantom. Um, he is graciously and generously moderating our live stream tonight. Alhamdulillah for him. Tonight, you guys, if you are on X, Twitter, 
there is going to be, inshallah, a Quran space, our very first Quran space tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are going to be reading, inshallah, a whole juz from the uh, Holy Quran, and Arch Phantom is co-hosting with our brother Absent, and inshallah, I'll be there after Fajr because of the time difference. Um, I'll be there about halfway through, inshallah, and we can recite and read the Quran together, inshallah. I'm so, so excited, you guys. We're gonna do a juz a day, inshallah, and then we can um, make sure we're covering, like, you know, a juz a day, right? And then we can get to the, through the Quran in a month, and you know we want to do read this as much as possible. This is our holy text, and we're very, very um, grateful and blessed to have this. Alhamdulillah for this book. It's my favorite book of all time, and I absolutely this is the M A S Abdul Halim, but um, translation. It's very, very good. Not perfect, but it's it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So, Alhamdulillah, and inshallah I'll be reading next year. <laughs> and my my goal is to read the. Um, the Quran in Arabic, recite the Quran in Arabic next year. Not well, but you know, we, you know, we have goals. It's good to have goals. Do you guys have goals like that? Let me know what your goals are. Um, Alhamdulillah. Subham, walaikum salam, brother. How are you? Nadir says, we're actually planning a trip to Kashmir, but my grandfather got ill. Oh, I'm so sorry, brother. Suddenly due to stroke. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry, brother. Inshallah, your, um, your grandfather gets better and that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants him shifa kamila. Please, please, please pray for Nadir's grandfather. His um, grandfather just had a stroke. So please, um, inshallah, I will be putting up um, a dua request page on our community page tomorrow here on YouTube. So you guys, if you have any requests, you can put them in in our community here. It can start praying um, for our community here on YouTube and then the greater Ummah as well. It's super important, you guys. We are a community here. We are a little Ummah, part of a big Ummah. And inshallah, we can, you know, pray for one another. That's what we're here for, right? So, um, ah, walaikum salam from Agadir. Nice to see you. Masur asks where I am. I'm in Tirana, Albania. Albania, in the Balkans. Alhamdulillah, yes. So Arch Phantom says, it's so nice. Spring is springing. Yes. Only downside pollen. I know, brother. I had to take a Claritin today. <laughs> yes. My eyes and nose cry, but everything is happy. Yes. I'm the same way. I'm having to take a Claritin, what, every, I sneeze. You know when you're like laying in bed and then all of a sudden you start sneezing and sneezing and sneezing? You're like, okay, I guess I'm awake now. Um, so yeah, I had to take a, a Claritin this morning. Alhamdulillah. Yes, okay, so please, please, please visit Arch Phantom Zero, Arch Phantom Zero on Twitter. Um, he is, it's pinned to his profile, the uh, Quran space, and I'm gonna retweet it, inshallah, after this um, live stream so that you guys can make sure to join in. It's a beautiful space, and I think there's gonna be a lot of people, so it'll be nice. There's reciters from like Malaysia and the United States and all over the world, alhamdulillah. And uh, yeah, it'll be really, really um, beautiful. Uh, when we were in Ramadan, uh, I participated and it was just, you guys, it was so, so beautiful. I absolutely loved every second of it. And I just felt so blessed that I could be part of this community. So, um, hello, there's Turkish 24 year olds lawyers I want to marry. Yes, yes, yes. So you're looking to get married, is that what you're saying? Please let us know. Ah, man, I am. Eid Mubarak to you too, brother. Oh yes, of course. I am always praying for Palestine. Inshallah, you guys are also praying for Palestine. Um, yeah, Palestine is always in my duas, of course. I'm also praying for those in Syria and Yemen. They're also being uh, under attack. So please, please, please. And also, let's remember to pray for our brothers and sisters in India also, um, especially our sisters who are wearing hijab and um, niqab you know they are very at risk there's a lot of islamophobia happening in india right now um and i don't think it's going to get much better because i know that um the government is sort of sanctioned by the government and so they're having a lot of hard times there so please please keep our brothers and sisters in india in your duas as well um how was my trip to the balkans asks man Isle. alhamdulillah the balkans was absolutely beautiful um, I learned a lot actually. Yeah, it was really, it was a really beautiful time. It's funny because the Balkans, obviously there, there's similarities between Albania and, um, Bosnia, but a little bit of difference, you know, I, I was really missing, uh, Sarajevo yesterday because in Sarajevo, there's a masjid everywhere. There's like, they're everywhere. Literally. I mean, 
you walk down the street and you're like, oh, you know what? I have 15 minutes before Durher. Let's just pop in here and wait, um, do dicker and um, hang out, you know, wait for the prayer to start. And in <laughs> Tirana, Albania, it's not like that. So you have to really set the intention to go, okay, I have 20 minutes or a half an hour to get to the masjid. So you get there 15 minutes and you, you really have to plan it. It's a little bit different. Um, Alhamdulillah. Um, but yeah, so I'm about 15 minutes from the masjid here in Tirana, which is absolutely amazing. And I really wanted to make sure we had an apartment that we were so close to the masjid. So for that, I am absolutely blessed, alhamdulillah. Um, but you know, it's nice to pray in a different spot, you know, and I think it's um, nice to meet different people. So alhamdulillah, it was very, very beautiful. And um, I just posted a video 15 minutes ago um, this beautiful masjid across from the river. Um, it's so beautiful. And there they have people, uh, women, who have memorized the Quran, Hafizas, and there's like half, like seven of them, eight of them, and they just recite the Quran all through Ramadan. It was just a whole juz. And I was just like, to see young people practicing their religion just really was just like, it was overwhelming because you know, in the West, it's so secular. You're like, you sort of have to hide your faith in the West a lot of times. You're like, oh, I, you know, I, you know, you don't really talk about politics or religion in the West, in the quote, quote, West. Um, it's sort of, which I think is a shame. I think that if we talked more about it, I think maybe people would know more about your religion or more about Islam specifically. Um, you could sort of dispel these myths. But um, yeah, it was, it's a beautiful, I absolutely love Sarajevo and inshallah I'll go back because it's very, very beautiful. Man, Isle says, yes, it's definitely more Muslim than Albania. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I don't know what the population difference is. I think maybe, I assume Tirana is larger population? I, I really don't know. I, it's an interesting mix here in Toronto. There's girls wearing like half tops and then there's girls in like full the cabbies and then there's people just everywhere in between. It's very, very interesting. Whereas in Sarajevo, it's mostly modest dressing. Like I saw maybe half a dozen girls the entire 10 days that I was there in half tops. Like very rarely did I see um, skin, which was Quite nice, actually. <laughs> um, Albania was under brutal, brutal uh, uh, yeah, atheistic rule. They are slowly becoming more Muslim. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I totally agree. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, Albania has a really interesting history. It's a beautiful country, and I feel happy that I'm here. Now, uh, the food is really good. Alhamdulillah. So I'm very happy about that. Hi, Hebu. How are you? Walaikum salam. How was my first Eid? My first Eid was very, very quiet, unfortunately. <laughs> so uh, alhamdulillah. That's so funny. Um, yeah, it was very quiet. I was by myself. I did nothing, uh, unfortunately. It was kind of sad, to be honest. <laughs> I was just by myself, so. Chelsea, walaikum salam. I'm just reading on the vertical stream. Hebu, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Jazak hair. Pravid, I'm here only, inshallah, inshallah. I'm also from, I don't know where that is. Aida, I don't know where that is. You have no idea of Islam, Praveed. I don't know what that means. Assalamu alaikum, Barry, how are you? You should visit Kosovo. Oh, Kosovo, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, inshallah, I could. Yeah, that would be wonderful. Love from India. Jazakal hair, Moed Samir, I appreciate that. Alhamdulillah, to learn the complete Surah al-Baqarah. Yeah, that would be a goal. That's a good goal, VB. That's a very, very good goal, yeah. Um, by looking at your eyes, you look Ashkenazi. <laughs> cry cry pro jew my sister okay i don't know what that means i'm from Frankfurt. oh beautiful i've been to germany it's a beautiful it's a beautiful place um alhamdulillah good good bread in um germany <laughs> um yes please be considerate to emmanuel he is a christian um alhamdulillah uh, let's see. You just asking from sister to sister would it be nice to change your profile picture without the hijab. Yeah, maybe one day I'll do it. But you know, there's there's a lot of people who are interested in Islam that know that they don't have you don't have to to wear a hijab immediately. And I'm not a full time hijabi. I've been wearing it as much as possible. I wore it for the first ten days uh, or the last ten days of Ramadan. I wanted to try. I'm testing it out. Um, I only have three hijabs, so I'm, I'm, inshallah, I'll be going tomorrow to, there's like four hijab stores here in Toronto, and inshallah, I'll be checking them out. Um, I need magnets, I need, there's a lot of stuff that goes on with hijab, but I'm not changing my profile pic anytime soon, because I'm not a full-time hijabi, um, so that's why I'm not changing it. And also, 
you know, there's a lot of people who are interested and curious about Islam and for them to think that you must have to wear it the, the day you convert, I think that's not true, obviously. I don't wear it all the time. I didn't wear it on Saturday, which was very interesting. Um, inshallah, I'll be doing my hijab journey videos, uploading those very, very soon. I'm still editing them, um, but um, yeah, so I won't be changing that anytime soon. Um, Rima, how do you feel celebrating the first Eid? Sister, it was very quiet. It was so, so quiet. It was so, so quiet. Um, I was all by myself. So inshallah next year, I will have friends and family around me, but um, I don't know. It was quiet. I spent the entire time uh, going from, I went to the two masjids and then I was in the hotel. It was pretty quiet. It was kind of sad actually. Um, I was kind of bummed out. So how do you feel, how do you have the right to be online? <laughs> Okay, guess what? Bye, troll. Bye. Um, Zaki says, chicken or beef? Beef, always. Kosovo is 90%. Yes, yes, yes. Um, you're not interested or they're just leave. Yes. Is Lay's chips haram? I don't know. Are they? Um, I don't know if they are. So there's a lot of German going on. I don't speak German, but inshallah, it's, it's, it's kind and you're being kind in there, VB. I don't know what it means. I don't know. Something about halal though. I can read halal, that word. Um, no matter how big a problem you face in your life, says Masur, never give up your prayer or salah, of course, because after faith, this is the most important command. Yes. So Jazakal hair to everyone because I was having it my this live stream at 7 p.m. And then I was looking at my phone. I was like, oh wait, we have Maghrib at like, uh, 7.23. I was like, obviously I have to, um, pray. That's like my first, um, obligation. So I had to reschedule the live stream. So I appreciate you guys' patience with me. Um, and I'll, Kosovo is also a Muslim majority country and apparently soon math. I know Macedonia, North Macedonia and Montenegro. Yes. I heard that online actually. Alhamdulillah. And inshallah, you know, more and more people convert over there. I know it's, but they also are Orthodox Christians. The heavy here, here there's a huge Orthodox Christian um, churches here in um, Tirana. Okay. Arch Phantom is dropping some gems. Of course he is. Um, alhamdulillah for him. Prophetic wisdom. Okay. Look at those who are lower than you financially, but do not look at those who are higher than you, lest you belittle the favors of Allah conferred upon you. Yes. That's beautiful, brother. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's true. You know, it's funny. You sort of, you know, as a convert or a new Muslim, you sort of wonder like what your life would be like if you were born in Islam, you know, and it's, it's sort of interesting. And you also have to remind yourself that there's a reason why you're a new Muslim and not a born Muslim, right? So it's easy to get sort of caught up in like, oh, you know, regret. I'm like, oh, I wish this, I wish I was born Muslim because it would have been easier maybe. Or I wish I was born Muslim because then I wouldn't have this, all these like, I mean, it's a big process. The conversion process is a big, big process. It's not, you know, it's not easy. Um, there's a lot that goes into it, inshallah. Um, it, most people don't take it very lightly and, and nor they should they. And uh, it's a, um, but then you realize you're like, you know, you have to trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's keter in his timing. Um, you know, he, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows everything, right? So um, what we know is so, I mean, it's insignificant. So um, yeah, worrying about that, regretting that, I mean, it's just a waste of time. And then you're also thinking like, well, what's wrong with me? And that's not true. I mean, you have to, you have to just trust in the, in, in the plan. So, um, you know, you may not know um, the plan, but you have to trust the architect, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, um, Walaikum salam, 24 year old, I want to marry a converted sister. Okay, H, you know what? H-S-N-J-M-S, -S. we have a, uh, a whole series coming out, inshallah, very, very soon. It's called The Muslim Marriage Crisis. Um, I am going to write a note here for myself because Bushra, one of our sisters, her name is Bushra, and her handle on Twitter is called Covert Rose Risen, and she is a matchmaker. I will, inshallah, um, tomorrow put in her handle, and she's got a, um, a uh, I don't know what you call it, a formula, like a, a worksheet that you fill out, and then you can see if she will take you on as a client, and then inshallah, you can um, get married very, very quickly. Um, sister, are there different kinds of Muslims? I don't know what you mean, Hus. I don't know what you mean, Hebrew. I mean, there's more Muslims and there's um, new Muslims, right? 
There are no single women in the chat. <laughs> Uh, trust me, I'm a born Muslim, and I'm telling you, I learn from converts more than I do Muslims. Interesting, interesting, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how that works. That's an interesting That's an interesting point. Jazak al for saying that. Um, covert Rose Rising. Let me add it to the here. I'll wrote it. I'll, um, I'm going to write it here. Covert. She's on X. Covert Rose. Oops, I got to spell Rose right. Rose Rising. Rising. And she is on X. And um, how are you guys feeling? I don't know. Um, I don't know about post-Ramadan blues is for real, right? <laughs> I have post-trip blues and then I have uh, post-Ramadan blues. Yesterday it was like, Meh. it was pretty sad actually. How's Instagram doing? How are you guys on Instagram? Rebecca, assalamu alaikum sister. I'm sorry I haven't got back to you on, on WhatsApp. Inshallah you're doing well, sis. Um, yes, my pleasure, brother, my pleasure. Okay, um, it's not just about Lay's support, it's not about the ingredients. Okay, I don't know what's going on with the Lay's conversation. Um, wh who owns Lay's? Isn't it Pepsi? I have no idea. Who owns Lay's? Mm. Also, if they, if they fry their potatoes in, in, veg in sunflower oil, you don't want to eat that anyway. Um, Barry, are, as an Albania, I'm jealous you were there and I am in America. Oh, Barry, isn't that interesting? Where in America are you? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's so interesting. There's a big, huge diaspora, uh, Albanian diaspora in America. Um, Alhamdulillah, I have a sister. Um, well, we have a sister and uh, she's in Miami and we went to school together and we went to Columbia School of Social Work. Alhamdulillah for her, she's a beautiful girl. And uh, yeah, she was in Albania and she's like, I miss Albania. We were DMing on Instagram. Um, yeah, VB, you can strive for better things, but just don't forget to be thankful for the seemed simple things you have. Yeah, of course. I'm very, very, very grateful for everything, and especially for our community here on YouTube, but also being part of the UMA, you know, having this community here, I think is so, so important. You know, having sisterhood, having brotherhood, where I could just DM somebody like, hey, I need you to pray for something, or hey, can you help me with something? And, you know, you guys are all over the place. Like, I love it. I love, you know, Bangladesh, we have Malaysia, we have Kashmir in the chat. Like, it's crazy. You guys are everywhere. It's amazing to have family around the world. And um, yeah, I'm very, very, very grateful. Um, Okay, Ali Ibrahim, did you eat pork before Islam? I did, I had bacon before, yeah. But I'm not a big pork fan. I never have been a pork fan. Um, I've had bacon, obviously, like in like, um, what do they call them? Clubhouse sandwiches. Um, but I was never a big, I was never a big pork eater. Um, one of the traditions in like the North, North America, they'll have like a turkey or for Thanksgiving or like a ham. And um, occasionally my mom would make ham instead of turkey. And I would just be like, uh, I, I did not, I did not. I'm not a big, I'm not, I've never been a big pork eater, um, alhamdulillah. But I also worked at a uh, barbecue restaurant and there was a lot of ham there. Um, but it was mostly beef, like beef brisket. I'm a beef girl through and through. Or lamb. I had lamb the other night. It was very, very good. Albanian food is amazing, by the way. <laughs> and, the, and because you're in the Balkans, of course, in Bosnia, the food is very similar in Istanbul, you know, the Ottoman Empire, former Ottoman Empire. The food here is so, so good. And they actually use like real spices here. You know, it's not like Italy where it's like rosemary, oregano, it's sort of bland. Um, and inshallah, I'll be going to Morocco and uh, learn how to do some Moroccan cooking because I really want to learn how to make couscous and uh, lamb tangine. It's like a big, big goal of mine. So yeah, Arch Phantom says, um, post Ramadan blues is definitely real. Yeah, it's weird, right? Like the texture of life is so different. Like it's so, it's just like, you can, it just feels different, you know? Like I'm grateful, but I'm just kind of like, ah, why? Why is it only one month? Well, although in 2030, we're gonna have Ramadan twice. Did you guys know that? We're gonna have it in um, January and December. So we're gonna have, because of the lunar calendar, we, on 2030, uh, Alhamdulillah, we have Ramadan tw twice that year. So I'm very, very excited about it, but it's still like, you know, six years away. So, um, Hebu, I mean, like there is Catholic Christians, Baptist Christians, but does Muslims have different kinds of Muslims? There's Shia Muslims and there's Sunni Muslims. Yes, there are two different kinds, um, but you know, sects are not really good. S E C T S, having you know, we're not supposed to be into breaking into sex, um, unfortunately. 
Zoe reverted recently. Alhamdulillah, Alu Akbar, that's amazing. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the community. I'm hoping that you, did you get to practice um, fasting during Ramadan, Zoe? Uh, inshallah, you did. That's amazing. And um, how are you feeling? Please let us know, please, yes. Metu Mathika, Mathika. Oh, I came newly, I wanna know, did you choose Islam? I don't know if you answered or not. Did I choose Islam? Yes, I'm Muslim, yes. I mean, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides who he wills, so I believe I was guided, so yeah. It was a choice, but for sure. I made that decision. It was a very long decision. I studied Islam in university. I studied Islam in graduate school. Um, I mean, it took me like a good, you know, 10 years to um, make the decision to say my shahada, but um, I believe that truly um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides who he wills, so. Um, yeah. Yes. Two Ramadans. True four. I am late again. Inshallah. Inshallah. I don't know if I'll be going live. I don't know if I'll be going live tomorrow. Alhamdulillah. Um, I'm trying to work out my schedule because I have a lot of filming I have to do. I have a lot of editing still, but inshallah, if it's not tomorrow, um, it'll be Tuesday. Inshallah. So VB on the vertical stream says you can strive for better things, but oh yes. Okay. That's right. For what do you think is the difference between Muslims and Christians. There's a lot of differences, brother. There's a lot, a lot of differences. Um, we don't believe that Jesus is God. Peace and blessings be upon Jesus. He is a prophet, he's a messenger, but we do not believe that he's God. Um, yeah, there's a lot. And there's also many, many different kinds of Christians, right? There's like Baptists, there's Jehovah Witnesses, there's Mormons, there's um, evangelicals, there's, there's a tons of different sects in um, Christianity. So VB says, I think when you go to mosque on a daily basis, be social in the ummah and the halal way is the true, the fa father's there to find your spouse. Yeah, good idea, yes. See, that's, that's a very good point, yes. Um, okay, Sammy says there's a lot. Shia, Sunni, Zaidi, and Ibadi, Salafi. Okay, I have no idea who these other sects are. I thought those were uh, madhabs, but I don't know. Isn't Salafi a madhab? I have no idea. Yes, exactly, exactly. Hebrew, yes, there are. There's Shia, Sunni, apparently there's Salafi, but I don't know what any of that means. Um, oh, New Jersey. Oh, you know who's in New Jersey is Dr. Shady El Masri, Shadi El Masri. He's amazing. Um, do you, are you familiar with him, Barry? Um, Hebrew, yes, unfortunately there are Shia Ahadija. I don't know what that is. Al Ahmadiyya. I don't know what any of those are. Um, yes, just keep with the Quran. <laughs> Avibi, I need to pray. Oh, bless you all. Yes, please, please, please pray. If you're, if you're late for prayer, please go pray. That's the most important thing. I had to make our um, live stream later because my grip, I'm not, you know, we are going to be questioned about our, if we were praying on time and that's the most important thing. So um, please, please, please. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> Praveed, nobody said Jesus was fake, but good luck with that, bro. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Um, thank you for my moderator. Jazak al for the moderator. Um, Bridge to Eternity. Assalamu alaikum. I've just joined. I'm through financial and health issues. Please sincerely make dua for us. Yes, inshallah, we will. Bridge to Eternity. Um, alhamdulillah, Jazakallah for being here. And on Tuesday, I will be putting up a prayer space, uh, <laughs> a, um, on our community tab here on YouTube, I'll be putting up a, uh, do a request uh, tab, basically a, a note, a post, basically, please fill it out. And then our community will go on inshallah and check it out and, and pray for you as well. Um, I have been through, um, health issues before, I'm a cancer survivor. And so I know what that feels like. It's very uncertain and it causes a lot of stress, undue stress because um, it's, you don't know what's happening, right? You just don't know what the, um, what the recourse is gonna be. So inshallah, we will pray to you, pray for you um, and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants you shifa kamila, inshallah, inshallah. Um, yes, Jazakallah Hair Arch Phantom. 
Um, yes, exactly. Thank me later. Welcome, brother. How are you? The winner of our 5K giveaway. How are you, brother? I've been thinking about you quite a bit all through a Ramadan, praying for you and your parents. Alhamdulillah. Jazak here for being here. I really, really appreciate it. So nice to see you. True for it's 11.43 in India. What time is it in my country? It's 8.15, 8.16 currently. Alhamdulillah. That's hilarious. So we're gonna we're gonna take another troll out of the um, Pravid Devavan. Try this is a troll. We're gonna hide him from the chat. Bye, boy. <laughs> it's sort of fun getting rid of trolls, to be honest with you. Um, no, bridge to eternity. I am not. I am a very new Muslim. I've been a Muslim for uh, five and a half months. I am not a Sheikha at all. I am learning from you guys. I'm learning online. I have my Quran. I have this beautiful book here as well. It's called Being Muslim. I read it um, quite a bit when I was uh, on my own in Bosnia. It was, um, it's, a, it's a practical guide. And um, yeah, it's a lot there. Um, sort of like the, it teaches you all sorts of things like vices, how to pray. Um, it talks about our holy days like Ramadan. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're watching the live stream, the replay, welcome, assalamu alaikum. We're just doing a ra uh, Ramadan roundup. I have missed you guys for like 10 days, 11 days. I chatted with you guys a little bit on uh, Istanbul, in the Istanbul airport, which is really nice. But yeah, I wanna try and get back onto a schedule and inshallah, I'll be having some standalone videos coming out later in the week, inshallah. Um, yeah, I'm very, very excited. Um, bye boy, yeah, I know. It's like, dude, what are you talking about? Um, it's so funny, people get so upset, it's like, when you say that Jesus, uh, peace and blessings be upon him, is not God. People are going crazy about that. It's like, he never said he was God. So, alhamdulillah. Um, you seem very knowledgeable. Oh, Jazak O'Hare. <laughs> I actually studied Islam in, you know, for a long time in university. But it wasn't the same, you know, being a Muslim and studying Islam are two very, very, very different things. Um, alhamdulillah. And, uh, yeah, I got this cute little bookmark I want to show you guys. It's bookmark. <laughs> I like, I absolutely love bees. And the chapter of the bees was my favorite chapter for a really long time. Um, but yeah, I, um, so when I saw this in Bosnia, I was like, I have to get this. I have to get this. The problem was, is they left the price tag on the back, which I thought was really lame. Um, so alhamdulillah, it is what it is. And, um, I got one for my mom, but don't tell her she's, she's working today, but <laughs> normally she's here on the live stream, but, uh, she's working today. She chopped her finger pretty badly the other day at work, unfortunately. So I'm sure you guys can pray for her. She had four stitches in her finger. Oh my gosh, mama, what are you doing? Yeah, so unfortunately, um, not, not good. So inshallah, she heals very quickly and does not have any nerve damage. Crooms, Jazakal here for all the um, hearts. I really appreciate it. Alhamdulillah. Uh, MK, walaikum salam, how are you? How are you? Um, inner panic. Hey, brother, how are you? Nice to see you. It's so nice to see you. Oh, I look beautiful in hijab. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a whole new thing, huh? What do you guys think of the hijab? It's new. I'm not a full-time hijabi. Okay, just so you guys know. Um, I only have three hijabs so far. Um, I had to wash them. These are chiffon and you have to hand wash them. Okay, that's annoying. And when it's 82 degrees, you know, it's hot. It's hot out there. Um, so you're constantly hand washing and I have a jersey hijab, which is just like a bed sheet. It's huge. Um, so inshallah, I'm going shopping tomorrow and um, I will be buying new, new hijabs, less pins, maybe some magnets. You know, there's a lot that goes on with the hijab. I think, you know, you, you brothers aren't aware of all the stuff that we have to do. <laughs> there's pins, there's tape, there's, there's wrapping, there's knots, there's, there's a lot going on. Uh, alhamdulillah. Um, but it's, it's awesome. And, um, yeah, it's, I wore my abaya to the, uh, and it's also flammable. It's like kind of dangerous, uh, when you're cooking, you know, it's like, ah! um, it's kind of scary. So <laughs> you have to be very careful. Um, but yeah, inshallah, I can buy cotton ones and maybe they have like nice ones, like, or like linen or something. Uh, inshallah, inshallah. Uh, Nathy, how are you? Walaikum salam. Uh, Jazak al hair, MK, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a big adjustment, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and also my hair, because I wear glasses, my hair is like popping out the sides. It's like, there's gotta be a solution. There's gotta be a better solution. Maybe you can have like a little like, 
um, like a rubber thing here. So it like sticks down. I don't know. There's a lot going on. Um, but I, you know what? It's interesting. And inshallah, I'll explain that in my journey to um, my journey, my hijab journey videos that I'm working on. I'm editing currently. And um, yeah, it's, there's a lot there. And also it's interesting because I've learned a lot about, it's easy to wear a hijab in Bosnia because Nine ninety percent of the girls that wear or the women there wear hijabs. So you're like, oh, okay, I'm just one of everybody else. And alhamdulillah, a beautiful sister came up to me, and because I didn't have any pins, because I couldn't find any, I didn't know I had, I needed pins, because <laughs> I'm a new, I'm, this is all new to me. And a sister came up and she grabbed my arm and she started speaking to me in Bosnian. I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm sorry, I, I only speak English. And she says, oh, your, your hijab's falling off. And it like literally flew, flew off. And just, you know, alhamdulillah, I had my um, cap on. Um, and so she helped me rewrap it like in the middle of the street. It was like, so kind. Um, so then I finally found hijab pins. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a whole thing. There's like a lot, there's a lot going on there. It's a lot of, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's, yeah, it's a whole world that I was not aware of. Um, and it's funny because when you're not wearing hijab, you don't think of these things. And when now you're, that you're wearing, I'm wearing it. Um, yeah, it's a whole different world. It's very interesting. And you realize also, which, you know, inshallah you guys will, I don't want to wreck the surprise, but, um, how like modesty is not, it's not just like wearing long sleeve shirts. It's like sort of, you can't just wear like a long sleeve t-shirt and that be considered modest. Like it's more than that. Like it's a whole thing. Like it's, it's really an interesting, it's been a really interesting 10 day experiment. Um, Alhamdulillah. It's very, very, very different. It's, it's, it's a lot. There's a lot. It's very, there's a lot of, a lot of layers, a lot of ins, a lot of outs, if you know what I mean. Inner panic. Just hair. You're so, so kind. Beresha is an Albanian last name. Ooh, I like that. Um, wow. Akil, just echo here for being here, Akil. Um, that's amazing. Yeah, I, he's telling us all about the sex on the vertical stream. Alhamdulillah, just echo here for being here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, inshallah, inshallah. Um, are you here with us yet you upload a video? I don't know what I mean. Sammy, what do you mean? How are you here with us yet you upload a video? Uh, oh, I did it. I t you can uh, schedule. I did a schedule, um, I scheduled a short video of this beautiful masjid in Sarajevo across from the river. And if you listen to the audio, you could hear the river. And I don't know if you guys love the sound of rushing water, but it's like one of my favorite sounds. Alhamdulillah. MK, we have a beard to take care of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. That's true. Trimming, shaving. I don't know if there's like beard gel. I don't know what you guys put in there, but um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. Um, it's also, it's very trendy, right? Like in Brooklyn, everybody has a beard, right? There's actually a hostel in Albania here in Toronto called the Bearded Dad Hostel, which I think is absolutely hilarious. Um, also questionable, but it's, it's very funny because um, beards are just trendy, right? So hijabs are not really trendy um, in that way. So it's kind of funny. Um, well, you know, if we have friends over at show, if we have friends over, you can't really just be not wearing your hijab, right? Um, yeah, alhamdulillah. Carol, Turkey, how are you? Where in Turkey are you from? Shupam, I, inshallah, you've DM'd Arch Phantom on, on Twitter, brother. Inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. Um, Arch Phantom says, sister, random, but it's funny, imagining somebody walking into the live stream a few minutes ago hearing flammable pins stabbed chiffon, and they're like, oh my gosh, it is, it's serious business, bro. It's crazy, like I didn't realize, like you'll see, inshallah, you'll watch the, the videos, the hijab journey videos. The first two days, I was just like, what is happening here? The fabric, there's so much fabric, and then you start getting used to it, and you're like, oh, this is a, you know, and, uh, but yeah, it's a lot, like the first, but you know, the learning curve is steep. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. The learning curve is steep. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Um, X, I don't know X, I'll use it. Can't wait for your hijab tutorial. Yes, inshallah, inshallah on X, the Jazakal hair. Uh, Murdum, Murdum Gariz, I'm sorry, I'm butchering your name on X. Hi Ali, my messages are no longer reaching you on Instagram. Oh, Jazakal hair. You know what? Um, I have not been able to get onto Instagram until yesterday. 
So it's not you. It's the fact that when I was in Bosnia for about three days, I had access to Instagram. And then all of a sudden, everything stopped on Instagram. I would refresh the, the feed and it was stuck on one person's feed. And then I'd get the wheel of death and then nothing. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is happening here? And, and oh, I mean, I thought I was going to have to delete the app and then reinstall. And then I was like, I can't remember my password. This is going to be such a nightmare. Um, but I got on, I got back home to Toronto, Albania, and now it's working. So please DM me again and inshallah, I will be able to contact you because honestly, it's not you. It's not me. It was literally Instagram. I don't know why. I do not know why. It's just so annoying. Um, but yeah, we're back. We're back on Instagram. Alhamdulillah. It was very, very dis uh, disappointing. And I had met a really beautiful sister, Sumaya. I don't have her. She, I don't have her. Um, she runs the Halal Travel Group, Travel Guide. Anyway, she is a beautiful sister. I met her in Sarajevo and um, we were DMing on, on Instagram and alhamdulillah, it worked. And then I gave her, I was like, here's my WhatsApp just in case something happens. And then we were able to connect on WhatsApp. And um, yeah, I, I do that for sisters because I, I wanna be in touch with you guys. Um, Alhamdulillah. Uh, oh, Instagram. How are you guys? How's it going? Sky from Canada. How are you? V -A -K -X -N. Just echo here for the follow. I really appreciate it on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, please, please, please follow me. But more importantly, please follow our moderator here on um, YouTube. Beautiful brother. His name is Arch Phantom. He's zero Arch Phantom, zero on Twitter. He hosts a Quran space, co-hosts a Quran space um, every night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're gonna go through a whole juz a day. It's like an hour and a half, inshallah. Somebody will re recite in Arabic and somebody else will read it in English. And yeah, I'm gonna be late because nobody's on Albanian time except for me. So. After Fadger, I'm gonna jump on to the space and share in the beautiful um, uh, space. And it's it's really, you guys, please get on Twitter. Uh, inshallah, you'll follow me. Inshallah, you'll follow Arch Phantom and join our beautiful Quran space every night. There's a shake there. People correct each other on the recitation. Um, and yeah, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful event. And um, yeah, it's it's very, very exciting. It's like literally one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> it's like what you do after after Fajr, right? You read the Quran and then you get to be in a Quran space with people from around the world reading and reciting. It's just like, subhanAllah. Like I just, I just, I don't know if you guys understand like how that feels. Like, I don't know. I just, I, it just really makes me very, very, <laughs> Arch Phantom says, cooking with Ali streams. Yes, I want to do that. I really, really want to do that. I don't know if this apartment is going to be uh, the right venue for that, but inshallah in the future. Um, we have a sister named Demetrius at Dishes, and she's a beautiful sister. Demetrius Dishes on YouTube and on Instagram and on Twitter. And she is a sister and she does the most amazing recipes and they're simple, like they're easy to do. Um, so yeah, inshallah, I will, I want to redo her recipes in my own way. So that was a goal of mine. I just don't know if this apartment is going to work out for that, unfortunately. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, true for, what is your favorite verse in the Quran? I like two verses. First is that it is not your eyes that are blind, but it is your heart. And second is that every soul tastes death. These are my favorite. Yeah, you know, I was thinking a lot about this. Somebody wrote us on, um, in the comments on, on here on YouTube said, it's crazy to think that we will be in our graves longer than we'll, we will have been alive. And I cannot stop thinking about that. I literally cannot stop. We are going to be in our graves longer than we will have been on earth guys like literally something to ponder something to ponder reflect on that inshallah it's it's a lot it's a lot to think of i, I know but please this is so this is this is life is but a dream this is not real life guys this is a test this is a test <laughs> md mashallah you look a like queen in hijab does that the hair i appreciate that i really you're very very kind Oh, Barry, me and my family have a house in Toronto. Ooh, really? Well, 
let me know. DM me on either Instagram or uh, Twitter, inshallah, um, or leave a message here on, on YouTube and inshallah we can meet up, um, head to the masjid together. Yeah, I'm very, very excited um, about being here for the whole summer, although it's hot, it was 82 degrees here today, which I absolutely love, but I know not everybody's a, some, a fan of, of the heat. Um, MK says, because much easier with beard trend, but then it became very confusing to see someone with Suna long beard and then all the piercings and tattoos. Yeah, 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 I know it is interesting, but you know, there are new Muslims that have tattoos. So let's not forget them. Um, there's a lot of Muslims that have tattoos actually. Yeah, um, Arch Phantom, Lan Tangine. Oh, I know brother. It's like my favorite thing ever. I had lamb the other day, got into town uh, one in the morning, the next day, uh, went for lamb, like the first day, like dinner, lamb, potatoes, I'm in, I'm totally all in for sure. Jazak O'Hare Nathy, I will let her know that you sent her, um, your well wishes. I really, really appreciate that. Gufran, walaikum salam. Oh, MD, you're so kind. You're so kind. Inshallah, I wish the same for you. I will pray for you, MD. I really, really appreciate that. Um, yeah, there's so, yeah, let me know what your favorite verses are. There's so many. I have, I mean, honestly, it's just like, I have all these bookmarks in here as well. I mean, there's just so many. I have like stickies everywhere. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's crazy. I absolutely love it here. Um, this book just makes me so happy. And um, Alhamdulillah for Islam. That's my, yeah, I just feel so, so blessed. Hafiz, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, how are you, brother? It's so nice to see you in the in the chat. How do you for, perform your prayers on time? Well, I have an alarm. I set my alarm every day. <laughs> I change it every day, you know. Um, I was looking at this morning after Fajr, I was looking at the, um, we go from, it's right now it's like 4.23 in the morning. And then because, you know, the days are getting longer, obviously, I think it goes to like 3.16 in the morning, which means if you get up for tahajjud, then it's like an hour earlier, at least an hour earlier, depending on how many rakah you do. Um, so it's like two in the morning. And then I'm like, wow, I don't even go to bed till like midnight. So I'm like, okay, two hours sleep. There's a lot there. I'm, I'm really, 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 it's a goal of mine is trying to get to bed before midnight, uh, inshallah, inshallah. Um, MK, agree that we have new brothers and sisters with tattoos. I feel sorry for them when people criticize them. I know, it sucks, huh? Um, yeah, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's an interesting, it's an interesting journey, you know, um, but yeah, I'm getting some tattoos removed actually currently, so I'm just put it out there. Um, yeah, Nathy, hit the like button. Yes, please, please, please. Inshallah, you'll hit the like button. Alhamdulillah, you guys, I, I'm really happy you're here. And um, I have a, a program. Um, I'm not probably not going to do a live stream tomorrow, but inshallah on Tuesday, I want to get more um, regular with our live streams because I want to talk about Islam, obviously, with you guys. I want to connect. I feel like, you know, by myself in Bosnia for 10 days, it was a little lonely, to be honest. Um, it was nice to be at the masjid. I prayed tarawih, which was absolutely amazing. Um, and then I did a live stream there for like a half an hour, walked around town and showed you guys. Uh, I put it on the community page. If you guys don't know, but um, Sarajevo was called the Jerusalem of Europe. And there's like a old Ottoman synagogue. There's an old Orthodox church there. Um, there's, oh my gosh, there's a ton of masjids. It was, alhamdulillah, it was so, so beautiful. I just feel so lucky that we were able to um, hang out there and, and see and experience that, you know, the, I just put a short up two days ago, but this beautiful masjid, um, I prayed for um, Eid prayers. <laughs> I didn't know that Eid prayers was between, um, like after Fajr, between Fajr and Durher. I didn't know. Um, so I was rushing around trying to find the masjid to go to for Eid prayers, which didn't end up happening. And I got to the masjid, I was like, yeah, okay, I'm here. And I was like one of eight people. It was really, really um, um, sort of depressing to be honest with you. I was like, oh, it's over already. It's over already. Um, yeah, it, Ramadan, you know, it really, it's, it's fast, man. It goes by so, so quickly. It's, it's crazy actually, um, alhamdulillah. But I, inshallah you guys made the most of it. Um, yeah, it's really, really, it's really, it's, it's unfortunate, actually. I wish we could do it more often. And remember, we can we can fast for six days this month for Shawal, right? It is um, six days for Shawal. It's not ob obligatory. You can pick any six days. Apparently, it's not consecutive. Last year, I um, 
I um, prayed and fasted for Ramadan, even though I wasn't Muslim. And I thought the six days of Shawal fasting was consecutive. So I just went right from Ramadan. I had Eid and then I went um, and did six more days, um, alhamdulillah. But somebody was nice enough on Twitter to tell me that, hey, you don't have to do it consecutively. <laughs> So that was nice to know. So inshallah, you guys will also, because it's like fasting for these days, six days of shawal is like fasting for a year. Alhamdulillah. So I like to um, end all the live streams by letting or asking you guys, um, what are you grateful for? Because, you know, being grateful, showing gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we're Muslim and that we're alive and we're kicking and we're alive. We're just like... That's why we call it a life stream because Islam gives us life. That was uh, coined by the moderator, Arch Phantom, who I think should write a book. He's also, inshallah, will be a uh, revert coach. I don't know. I, so I'm putting it out there for him. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Sharif El Kadi, Walaikum Salam, how are you? MK says, These verses remind me to hold on to my prayer. 6842. Let's read here. Inshallah, I'll find that. But please let me know what you guys are um, grateful for. I'm grateful for you guys, obviously. I'm also incredibly grateful that I'm Muslim because not everybody gets to be Muslim, right? This is, this is, um, okay, let's see, 68, 42. Ooh, yes, what a great surah. Yes, 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 yes. Um, the pen, it's called in English. <laughs> 68, 42. Bismillah. <clears throat> On the day when matters become dire, they will be invited to prostrate themselves, but will be prevented from doing so. And their eyes will be downcast and they will be overwhelmed with shame. They were invited to prostrate themselves, but they, they were invited to prostrate themselves when they were safe, but refused. Oof. Yikes. Yeah. Wow. MK. That's wow. 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 That's a big one. Yeah, that's going to be a dreadful day, isn't it? Yikes. Ooh, I'm going to write that down because that is a really, really beautiful. I might have written it. I put it on the other page here. <clears throat> oh, it's on my, it's, it's on this other page that's flipped over so you can't see it. But yeah, Jazak O'Hare for sharing that. That was beautiful. Yeah, it's a crazy. There's so many reminders in this book, guys. Really, really, really. It's really, it's. And also the best part about this Quran space that's happening tonight 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitter, Arch Phantom Zero, Arch Phantom Zero, co-host to Twitter Space, that this month, because we just had Ramadan, when we read this book, the Holy Quran, when we read it again, we're different people, right? And, and next month when we read it, inshallah, we'll be different people and we'll have different things that we're, we're going through and that we can reflect on different verses, right? It's not like we don't always have it. Sometimes you have the same uh, favorite verse for years, um, but... You know, things change, life evolves. We, we become different people through our life experiences. So every time, you know, we read this every month and this month will be different than when we read it last month. You know, it's just, it's just, it's such a beautiful, it's such a blessing. Barry Barisha says, I'm grateful to serve Allah Azza wa Jal. Yes, brother, me too, me too, me too. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a believer, true believer. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Ah, Hussein, assalamu alaikum, how are you? Your SLM <laughs> confused me. Um, Sammy, there is one verse in the cow chapter that explains Islam religion, 2177. Um, Arch Phantom says, um, well, wait, it's not actually, you're not allowed to fast during Eid. Yes, you're right. I didn't fast that day, but the next day I did. I did fast for those six days. Grateful for fasting all Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from us and bless us to reach the next. Inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. Um, <laughs> Nathy says, uh, hit the like button, but don't hurt the like button. Just hit it lightly. <laughs> Just like here, brother. Um, uh, yeah. Hello, Zaheed. How are you? Walaikum salam. Um, Hafiz says, inshallah, I will be also starting the six days this from tomorrow. Okay, okay, inshallah. Sharif says, the background is so much better. Yeah, it's fun, right? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Yeah, it's, um, it's, been, it's, been a, it's been fun to set up this new apartment. Alhamdulillah. Um, I'm grateful for all those people who helped me set this up. So, um, Arch Phantom says, I'm also grateful for having all of you as my brothers and sisters. Same brother, same. Dearer to me than hot chocolate in winter. <laughs> 
<laughs> and other things and I don't even have and I don't even have to know you yeah it's true I had hot chocolate a couple times uh, in Bosnia because I can't have coffee too late but people want to go out at like Sumayo she's like let's go for coffee I'm like how are you drinking coffee it's like 10 o'clock at night um and that you're Muslim and halas, 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 your familia, and it's over. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Miriam, ah, oh, Mary, welcome to Lama sister. I'm sorry, I was not ignoring you on Instagram, girl. I could not get on to Instagram when I was in Bosnia. So please, 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 inshallah, you'll forgive me for not, I was not ignoring you, I promise. Um, yeah, I DM'd you earlier today now that I'm actually on Instagram again. It's crazy over there. Um, Nathy, you are super duper. You're so kind. You are the best. Oh, Jazak al-Hair. Um, Walaikum salam. Uh, yeah, Jazak al-Hair. Mary, I'm not a full-time hijabi. I didn't wear it the other day. Um, I had to wash them. These are hand wash only. Who made that? Who decided that? I don't know. That's not convenient. It's really not, not convenient. Um, so I want to read this. Um, I, uh, Sammy said 2177. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. One, seven, seven. Let's see here. Bismillah. Two, one, seven, seven. Goodness does not consist in turning your face towards east or west. The truly good are those who believe in God in the last day, in the angels, the scriptures, and the prophets, who give away some of their wealth, however much they cherish it, to the relevant, to the relatives, to orphans, the needy travelers and beggars, and to liberate those in bondage, those who keep up the prayer and pay the prescri prescribed alms, who keep pledges whenever they make them, who are steadfast in misfortune, adversity, and times of danger. Those are the ones who are true, and it is they who are aware of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. SubhanAllah, yes, 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 yes. I love it, I absolutely love it. I'm gonna, I might even tweet that out tomorrow. It's just beautiful, I love it. This is what I'm saying. This is beautiful. Uh, apparently, Barry Barisha asks if I'm Italian. Apparently, according to my DNA test, yes, I am part Italian. Yes. Um, and uh, yeah, but I have a lot of, I don't know. I don't know. If I'm, I'm still on the fence on the whole um, DNA tests. I don't know. Zahid Mir, welcome salam. Jazakallah here for being here. Inshallah, you're doing well today. Alhamdulillah for being here. Um, Instagram, everybody's doing well. That's awesome. Um, also for grateful, yeah. <laughs> Sammy, I am grateful today for a lot of things. So many things today was right. Oh, Alhamdulillah, I'm happy for that. We're talking about what we are grateful for today um, because we should show gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to our friends and family, you know. Um, inshallah, you guys are being kind to your family. It's my father's birthday. I, um, me and my brother got onto a voice chat, you know, like a WhatsApp group chat and talk to him and you know our family is very very important kinship ties are very important in islam so please don't forget to make sure that our family and our friends are um in our duas as well um <laughs> yes i know it's it's a process sis. mary says lmao it's okay i understand yeah i don't want to make it i did say that i was going to in our live streams for ramadan the iftar with ali life series a live stream series I said I would try the hijab on for 10 days and um, I did because I say what I'm, I do what I'm going to say. I despise hypocrites um, and I'm loving it. It's, it's getting there. I'm getting there. So inshallah, it'll become easier and easier. And um, yeah, uh, inshallah, one day I'll be a full-time hijabi. So um, please pray for me, obviously. Um, Arch Phantom says, in leaving, let's not forget to pray for our brother Nadir's grandfather. Yes, please, please, please pray for Nadir's grandfather and also Bridge to Eternity. She's having, I think it's a she, I don't know. They're, they are having health and financial issues. Um, please pray for our Uma. Don't forget about the Rohingya, the Uyghurs, the Sudanese guys. Please, please, please pray for our family in Sudan. They're really going through it, um, unfortunately. Obviously, our brothers and sisters in Palestine and in Yemen and in Syria. Syria is also being bombed, guys. Don't forget about them. And um, yeah, Jazak O'Hare, Arch Phantom, um, for that reminder. Um, <laughs> True Force says I should put in English subtitles. Uh, Jazak O'Hare. Yeah, I don't know how to do that in live. <laughs> I don't know how to do that live. So, um, but anyway. Jazakal here for being here, guys. I love you so much. And um, please keep an uh, eye out for the community tab. I'm going to be putting up um, Bushra, 
We are having a Muslim marriage crisis mini series being released very, very soon. Please keep your eyes out for that as well. And um, my hijab journey videos, inshallah, you guys will keep an eye out for that. And, you know, please follow Arch Phantom, Zero Arch Phantom Zero on Twitter. Um, he does a Quran space every night at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They're going to go through a whole juz. I'm going to pop on, inshallah, after Fajr. And yeah, inshallah, I will see you guys there. Mary, it's going slowly. My, te my, te my teacher just told me yesterday, or today, he texted me. He's like, when are we getting back on there? Because I didn't do it for the last 10 days. So, um, Jazakal here for everybody, for being here, guys. I love you all. And um, yeah, please keep a look out for the community tab as well. I'm gonna create a do a request page up there uh, tomorrow, inshallah. And I'll see you on the next, next live stream, inshallah. Bye, guys. Jazakal here for being here. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Barry. Does that go here?